Hey, welcome to Loomly and thanks for tuning in today. As a brief introduction, our Flash webinars is a very quick but in-depth presentation of a specific feature within Loomly. For today's uh, webinar, we'll be reviewing what Zapier is and what you can do with Loomly and Zapier. So let's get started. So first, I wanted to go over Zapier in case you aren't familiar with their amazing platform. Zapier helps you connect different apps to Loomly through our Zapier integration. It allows you to connect other apps and move information between the apps of your choice. This in turn will help you increase you and your team's productivity even more by automating processes. So what can you do with Loomly and Zapier? Using Zapier, you can connect different web apps with Loomly for several different tasks. Here are a few examples for apps you can use. For example, content curation with Pocket or Feedly to create post ideas, digital asset management to add media files to Google Drive and Dropbox from your Loomly library, publishing to social channels and blogs such as Tumblr, Discord, or WordPress. You can also use it for email marketing with MailChimp and project management tools with apps like Airtable, Google Suite, and others. You can also use it for CRM tools such as Salesforce. And there's many more that you can use and see within Zap. As a side note, a Zap created with Google Sheets allow you to upload in bulk content to Loomly, which I'll be showing you shortly. So Zaps consist of two parts, a trigger and an action. So let's go through these one at a time. The first part of a zap are triggers. This is really what fires or sets off the event. It's the definition of a trigger where it causes an event to occur. The important question here is where do you want this information to come from? For example, Loomly would be the trigger app if you want an email notification when a post is published. We'll briefly go over the steps to create one, but I'll be showing you uh, the actual creation of a zap later on. So briefly, to set up a zap or set up a trigger, you will need to choose an app and an event, then choose an account, customize any actions that are available, if, and then test it. So there are several Loomly triggers, such as post publish successful, push, post publish required, uh, new post created, new collaborator invites, uh, when a new item is added to the library, and many other triggers for, for Loomly. Now, the second part are the actions. Uh, this is the event that will occur after the trigger happens. So in the prior example, where you want an email to be sent when a Loomly pu post is published, published, Gmail would be the event app. So after testing, turn it live for it to run its course. It's sort of a set it and forget it. Uh, so for Loomly Zapier integration, allowing creating custom post ideas and quick posts are action items. So I just mentioned quick posts. So I wanted to uh, review that in case you aren't aware of it. And this is a feature that can be used to create content in Loomly through Zapier as an action. Quick posts are essentially draft posts that can be used as reminders with the subject or in other words, a title. These also allow you to set a date and time. So when you're using Zapier, you have a bit more flexibility with quick posts since you can select your social media channels and also add a copy. So after you create the quick post, you can always edit it in Loomly, then schedule it once it's to your liking. So let's review examples of Zaps where Loomly is a trigger app and another where Loomly is the action app. For Loomly as the action app, uh, we're gonna go over sending an email to Gmail once the post is published. Again, Zoomly is a trigger app and Gmail is an action app. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. If you go to Zapier, you will be able to see 
your zaps that you've created. I pre-created these zaps just for the sake of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to this uh, zap I've created. Again, this is going to be the trigger app and this is going to be the action app. So opening that, and Zapier really makes it simple to create and set up a zap. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, edit this just because I have created it already. Um, and then for the trigger app, you'll be able to select the app, in this case, Loomly, select an event, choose your account, set up the trigger, which is the calendar, and then provider will be the social media channel. You'll then test the trigger. And once it's all set, you can go on to the action item. So the action part of the zap will be sending email and Gmail. You can always select your apps as you can see here. Um, and the event will be sending an email. You'll choose your account for Gmail, and then you can set up action items. For example, if for the email, I can send the subject, uh, the recipient, which will be Mike and myself. And then you can add all of these fields, which are optional. And then for the subject, I'm just going to, I just added Loonly Post Publish Successful. And then for the body, you can add different fields. For example, I created, um, I added post date, uh, calendar URL, as well as different information that will be coming from Loomly into Gmail. And then you can continue. And then once you test it, you can always publish the zap. Again, this one is already published, so I'm not going to have to retest it. For the second I wanted to show you is Google Sheets to Loomly, which I'll be using to bulk upload. And in this zap, Sheets is my trigger action and Loomly is the action app. So my goal here is to add quick posts to Loomly for each row that is added to Sheets. So let's go over these steps now for this zap I've created. So trigger app is going to be the Google Sheets app as I've mentioned earlier. And the event will be to create a new spreadsheet role. You select your account and then for the step details, you'll be able to um, at, select a spreadsheet and also the sheet here. And then for the second part of the zap, it will be the action item. Uh, the app will be zap and the event will be creating a quick post, selecting your uh, Loomly account, and then you can go ahead and finish the action events. So you choose your calendar to your liking, and then set your date, the subject, and the copy, and then you can choose true for whichever uh, social media platforms you'd like to create that quick post to, and then you could finish that up. So I've also set up some zaps, um, First, with the Google Sheets, I went ahead and created a few rows for my columns. So these are all in line with what I've created or mapped in Zap. And you'll see here that we have created two draft posts, the bold post and the New Year's Eve post, as you can see here. Now for the first Zap I've created, it was creating an email whenever a post is successfully published. So I created or published these two posts, learn, learn more about Zapier and Zapier. So if you go to your emails here, you'll be able to see the emails. For example, the first was the Moonly and Zapier post. And if you open that up, you'll be able to see that post within the calendar itself. And the other one will be also here. So you will get an email for every post you've su successfully published. So you should be ready to create and use Zapier with Loomly now. Um, thank you so much for joining us. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to review our FAQ section for more information. If you feel like your question has not been answered, you can always contact us through our chat or through email at contact at Thank you.